I thought I would take a few minutes to talk about some of the struggles I had with the last video, seeing as I was the only crew member. I touched a little bit on it in the comments underneath in the video. I thought I'd expand a little bit more on it. So one of the challenges I found was directing as well as monitoring what the guys were saying and also looking at my surroundings to see what kind of b-roll I can get. So b-roll being the little bits of film that go on top of the interview to enhance it a little bit. That was a little bit of a challenge because I'd have to listen to their sentences and if I saw something interesting that was happening around me I'd have to think oh wait a minute is this a good point to cut away from filming them and then film the surroundings or should I come back and film that? So in a sense I was editing in my head at the same time as I was filming, which is quite challenging when you are one person monitoring quite a few things, which is why it's always helpful when filming to have s different people doing specific roles as opposed to one person doing all the roles. For example, this clip with the plastic bottle rolling on the floor. I really like this and it was at a point where the guys were just sort of chatting away um, about just random stuff. I thought actually I probably won't use this in the in the edit and I want, want to have this as a slow motion piece. So I had time to readjust my camera settings, film this bit real quick and then capture them at the end as they came into frame and then reset my camera back to a regular speed so that I can capture them with their conversation carrying on again. Other things I had to look out for was the direction of the b-roll that I was doing. So when they were walking towards one direction, I had to make sure that everything I filmed was in the same direction, which isn't actually hard. That part was quite easy to do. But sometimes if you are the only person, it can be something that you kind of forget and mix up a little bit. So I just had to have that in my head. I wanted to let the conversation flow as much as possible without stopping. So some of the extra bits I had to come back later and film. Like I really wanted this shot of this overhead design, but I didn't grab it at the time that the guys were talking and I came back later and grabbed it. But the issue with that was the time of day had changed and it was a little bit brighter. And so the colors, matching the colors was sometimes a little bit tricky. And if you watch the video, you might notice some points where the colors don't quite match. So I mentioned audio and I used the two iPhones that I asked the guys to put in their pockets. What I did notice when doing the edit was one of the guys had a flap over the iPhone. And so whenever they moved their hand, it was there was a rustle on the audio. And so sometimes I had to pick up Steve's audio on Festus's iPhone and hope that they were close enough that I could grab his audio from the other iPhone. Overall, it worked out fine. Um, there were only little bits that I couldn't use. So this is how I tackled doing this video as a one person crew that I thought I would just share with you um, and hope it helped.